of a foe Snoop Doggy Doggy like a Dre is a little dope Ready to make an entrance, so whack on up Before I have to pull the strap off the cut Give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bumble How can I bump these together, man? Trouble cause ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Too low out G, so we crazy. Death Row is the label that pays me. Unfatable, so please don't try to fake this. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Perfection is perfected, so I'ma let them understand. From a young G's perspective. And before we dig out a trick, I have to find a contraceptive. You never know, she could be earning her man and learning her man. Then at the same time, burning her man. Now when she burning, I'ma chill for a minute. Cause ain't no loving good enough to get burned while I'm offended. Yeah. And that's relevant, real deal, holy field. And now you hook us and know how I feel. Well, if it's good enough to get off of a proper Hey guys, it's Jonathan with Bullet Motorsports. Today I'm gonna show you a 1967 Chevrolet. Impala. This is a frame off rotisserie restored car and we've got full documentation of this. It's powered by a GM fuel injected 350 with 351 horsepower and 403 foot pounds of torque. If you're looking for a perfect body, a perfect ride, ice cold AC, power steering, four wheel disc brakes, fully restored, this is it. Let me start off with the heart. So it's a Ramjet. Uh, GM crate motor, so that's not a cheap motor. That's about $7,000, not including the install. It has a set of headers on it, and the best part is when you go and click the ignition, it fires right up. There's no issues with your carburetor because you have yourself a fuel rail right there with uh, your injectors. Uh, you can see that it has a vintage air setup with the correct brackets, aftermarket uh, radiator, power disc brakes, brand new battery. We just put that in yesterday. And then take a look at the paint as we walk around the whole entire vehicle. The interior has been treated with leather and it has a custom center section and dash along with power windows, which I'll show you how they operate when we get inside there. Take a look at the chrome wheels. Those are American Racing Billet wheels on G-Force tires. Uh, emblems look perfect. This is my favorite color. So Marina Blue is one of the signature colors for the 67 Corvette and also it comes out great on an Impala. Let me go ahead and open this up for you. Take a look at all the interior, all the door panels. Everything has been replaced. There's no rust. This is a 9.5 out of 10 easily. You can go to a car show and you're going to win. Here's your custom interior along with your custom dash. So you've got yourself your vintage air controls, a uh, radio with Bluetooth satellite radio along with an auxiliary plug-in, and there are five speakers that play and it sounds extremely nice. You also have your AC that rolls out of the center section, and then you have your AC that comes out from behind here. So when you fold this forward, you're gonna see the vent right here along with a cigarette port. So you, if you have some your family or kids back here, they can keep their iPhone or iPad charged, but I'd rather have them enjoying the sound of the exhaust. I'm going to go ahead and go to the rear. Let me grab the key so I can open up the trunk. While you do that, take a look at those rear wheels and how nice these body lines are. Okay, so the cool part about this car is we have full documentation. So I have all the paperwork, all the receipts, even the photos of when it originally started as a project. It was a really solid car from, from the get-go, and then they just turned it into an amazing machine. So what we have here is a brand new filter for the GM crate motor, along with uh, just some filter information. You've got yourself a spare tire, along with your, uh, your parade boot cover, which is a soft parade boot, it's white. All of the emblems and all the trim look great. Look at that. And the bumper as well. What's, what you do when you're looking at a car like this, go ahead and fold that down and take a look at how nice it is inside there. Super clean, all new hardware. Close this, closes nicely, no rattling. And then let's go to this side of the car. Extremely nice, look at that body line. Look at the reflection. I'm not trying to sell you the car, but this thing is ridiculous. I drove it today and I got to do donuts in it and I got to test it out and nothing happened. It's a solid car. There's still a little bit of rubber here. Let's wipe that off. So driver's side, same thing. There is one imperfection right here. So that's just from the door touching. I just want you guys to see that. Uh, you've got your air vents here and then you've got your power top. So you can actually push the button and that top's gonna go up with ease. As you watch the video, you'll also see that it works perfectly. It has glass in the rear, so that's an uh, added benefit. It's not some vinyl. So let me put this all the way up. It 
It's glass. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it off. You don't need to go in there and pump it because it's fuel injected. Fires right up, sounds really good. You got yourself power windows. Oh, doing that side over there. That one. And this one. It truly is turnkey. Uh, go ahead and take a look at that engine. I'll give it a little bit of gas. What do you say we go for a ride? When we say frame off, we mean it. Take a look at the underside of this car. Every single nut and bolt has been replaced. All new bushings throughout. We did brand new brake lines on the front. Uh, you've got yourself four wheel disc brakes. You've got the GM Performance crate motor right here. Beautiful frame rails. Your 700 R4 right here. And then a custom drive shaft. And then it goes out to a posi rear end. Your exhaust flows out through a set of stainless uh, mufflers. Sounds like uh, Magnaflow. And then uh, you've got yourself a pan hard bar back here, all new hardware, and you've got your disc brakes in the back. If you're looking for a killer car, this is it. I mean, everything's replaced. We're inside the interior right now. I'm gonna shut this off real quick and I'll fire it back up again. That's how nice it is when you just are able to click the switch and there's no issues. Really responsive. You got yourself a low car shifter. So you click this and then you're able to bring it into your drive. Your, this is in reverse, neutral. Then you got it in your drive position. And this is a 700 R4, so you have overdrive. You can cruise on the highway all day. You got your power windows right here. And you have a little storage compartment with a charging port as well. Let's go ahead and go for a ride. Let's turn the air on because it is ice cold. We're keeping the windows up so you guys can actually hear me talking, which I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear me talking, but sorry, I'm trying to sell the car. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and drive normally and then when we turn around, I'll give it a little bit of gas. But I mean, the transmission shift's awesome. Feels really good. It's nice and smooth. All the bushings feel good. The brakes, the four wheel disc, you can push the brakes as hard as you want and it stops straight. I'm letting go of the steering wheel, no issues at all. Then you can give it some gas. We just chirped into second gear, unbelievable. It just rides so nice. If you're looking for a turnkey summer car or whatever, if you want to drive it in winter, you can too. Give us a call, 954-363-2261. Ready?